Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Dustin here, the media guy with Northwest Knives, and today we have another knife for you. This one's cool. This one's from Benchmade. It's a new release. It is available for pre-order. It drops the 26th of July, so just next week. It, 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 is, it will be shipping out, so get your pre-orders in as soon as possible. So before we get into the knife, we gotta do the intro. Uh, you guys know the deal, and then we'll open the box. Here we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification. We have a new unboxing video coming out in a couple weeks for the new Weekender. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean, know what I mean? Know what I mean, know what I mean, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, say no more. Uh, the new Weekender uh, with G10 is coming out in a couple weeks. Um, I will have a video for you shortly. So don't forget to turn on those notifications. Uh, let's take it to the main camera and look at the new readout from Benchmade. <laughs> So this is the readout from Benchmade. Huh. Initially, I'm very intrigued by what I'm seeing here. Um, this is a cool little uh, overlay. It looks like it goes over the handle. A very griptilian feel, kind of. Uh, maybe a little bit like a freak. Uh, the overlay is super nice, grippy, same material as the handle. Um, it's uh, got a new Benchmade clip. I've never seen this clip from Benchmade before. Uh, it almost looks like an integral the way they have this across the spine here. So that's pretty sweet. Um, it's CPM D2. Super strong. Super durable steel. It's coated. It looks like the nitride coating. Um, so that way, you know, your D2 is not going to get all rusty and crusty. Overall, it's a really good feeling knife. I, uh, I do approve of this knife. This is, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty rad. I like the way it looks. It feels really good in the hand, uh, which is nice. I kind of wish maybe there would have been a little jimping on the back, but that is not going to break the knife for me. Right hand, left hand, feels really good. Uh, it does have that reversible pocket clip. Benchmade's super big on being ambidextrous. They've done a great job incorporating this new clip style with being ambi. Overall, this is a cool knife. I like it. I like the design. It's new. It's something different. It's not the same cut of mustard every time uh, somebody comes out with a new knife. This is completely different. I like it. Ergonomically, it feels really good. It's got a lot of grip to it. It's, uh, it's very comfortable. Very comfortable. What do you guys think? What, uh, what do you think of the readout? Let me know below. Give me a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think of the readout. Uh, this, this is, uh, like I said, all new knife from Benchmade, new for 2022. They're starting to roll stuff out. Uh, so we're, we're pretty, Pretty excited, pretty happy with it. You know, the, we've seen the Weekenders and the Anonymous so far. We have quite a few more coming out the rest of the year. Uh, so, well, what do you tell me? What you guys think? We have a blade length of three point five five inches. We have a handle length of four point seven five inches. An overall length of eight point two nine inches, and a weight of three point seven ounces. So not too shabby. Uh, it's a great size knife. Um, kind of the same size as the full size Griptilian was. Maybe a little, just a hair bigger. Um, but overall, I really like this knife. I like the way that looks. Uh, this is going to be a fun knife. I can only... Well, there's a lot of possibilities with this thing. Uh, D2, crazy, crazy great blade steel. I know there's a lot of guys out there that, uh, oh, it's D2 and you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Uh, D2 is still a very valid steel in the knife community. It is incredibly strong. It's got great edge retention, which is a plus. Yes, it can be susceptible to corrosion. Okay. Well, there's a lot of other steels out there that are more susceptible to corrosion than D2. The fact that they coated 
the blade uh, goes a long way. They've done a lot with it. Um, that co that that covering, that coating, is going to make your blade less susceptible to corrosion, which is really nice. As an EDC, as an everyday carry kind of knife, uh, I think it's a great knife. Work knife, oh yeah, all day long. Cutting straps, you know, working on the job site, construction, all that kind of stuff. D2 is going to love you and you're going to love it back, especially at that Rockwell. It's like right in the sweet spot, I think, in my opinion anyways. I don't know. Tell me tell me what you guys think. What do you think of the fact that they use D2 um, on, on a knife like this? Um, Pre-order is live. We are opening these up for pre-order. This will go live. It will ship on the 26th of July. So... Make sure you get your pre-order in. We'll ship it out on the 26th of July uh, and, and get it in your hands as soon as possible. So that's it for me today. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate all your support on the channel. Uh, it's a lot of work and I love seeing your feedback. I love hearing your feedback. You know, you guys that come in the store, leave comments or, you know, Facebook and Instagram. We, we Every day we're doing stuff on there. I really, really do appreciate all the feedback you guys are giving me. Let us know what you'd like to see. I would love to hear, you know, hey, I want to see this kind of video, this kind of knife. If we can make it happen, rest assured we will. Every comment gets answered. Thanks for stopping by guys and I look forward to seeing you with the next knife. Take care.